Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Terra Tech. Uh, I've, I've made some improvements to our crane. Uh, this is basically my main combat vehicle now, I guess. It's kind of awkward, but... Uh, when I was out and about collecting things, apparently the AI will not defend itself unless it's set to follow. Well, I guess that's a bad example, but set to follow. Uh, otherwise, they'll just sit there and take whatever abuse, the abuse they get. So when I was out and about scrapping... Uh, some enemies came over and started attacking my my missile tank, and it just sat there and took it and eventually died, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, so this is basically... I mean, I have the tech saved, and I could rebuy it if I wanted to, but... Uh, I basically added um, a bunch of fuel onto this and a bunch of fans, as you can see. And then along the bottom on the tracks, I've added a bunch of rocket boosters. <laughs> so this thing can actually get going pretty fast. Here, let's blow up this enemy so it doesn't bother us while we're showing off. So before, if you looked at our speedometer, we could reach about 35 miles an hour uh, unhindered with the magnets uh, not loaded up or anything on a flat surface. Now we can get to about 50, uh, about 49, 50 miles an hour, like steady, which is really nice. Uh, and then when we boost, we can go up to 70. So we can actually get going pretty quick in this little thing. Uh, of course, we are limited with our boosts, but the fuel recharge is pretty quick. So it's pretty reliable, and the fans do also help somewhat with turning, which is nice. Uh, but today, I did want to work on making a flyer, because I want something... I want, I want a mission runner, basically. A, a vehicle that I can go out with and do missions. Because it's so much easier to do that uh, in an aircraft versus a landcraft, because, you know, you don't have to worry about going up mountains and stuff, and you can go over hills really quickly and all that. Uh, plus, you're more or less untouchable in the sky, unless you fly down, like, really low. Uh, you won't be attacked, so... Well, what the heck? Why are all those parts floating up in the air? Let's just back up, get those back on our little magnets. There's one stuck underneath our, uh, tread. Come on, get on there. Oop. I love this thing, it's so good. <laughs> and just zip on back to the black hole. Oh, okay. So when we when we zip around, sometimes things come off of our uh, block. So as long as we're not boosting, we should be okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna get started on building. All right. I think we're gonna use. I I keep calling them Nighthawk, but they're it's actually Hawkeye. I've been but I've been calling them Nighthawk like this entire game. I don't know. I guess it's both. They're both suitable. Uh, but I think I'm gonna stick with Nighthawk because while their blocks are heavier. Those rotor fans are incredibly powerful. Like, if they can increase the speed of this thing by, like, almost double... Well, actually, never mind, I guess without the boost it's not double. But still, if they can increase the speed of this by a noticeable amount, it can certainly handle a plane, especially if there's even more of them. Now, what I don't know is if I want to have... Actually, should I even have some? Actually, I do, yeah. I want to have them, like, just going down the middle like this and have our engine basically just be the, the body of our airplane like that, or if I want to have like an actual structure body and then have wings going out and have the engines go on the wings. So I'm going to fiddle around a bit until I find uh, a basic structure that I like. Alright, so I think I'm going to go with this structure for the nose of my craft. Uh, it's just smooth, sort of smooth on the bottom. I want it to have sort of a stealth bomber appearance. I'm not going to make it the, um, the sort of delta like triangle shape that uh, stealth bombers are. But it's sort of the, the same look as what, well, same concept as what we're going for anyways. So I think that's pretty nice. Alright, so I've gone ahead and actually, I actually have decided that I'm going to try more of a, a, a stealth bomber look for it. Or like a traditional stealth bomber, rather. With the sort of triangular, oops, that was actually facing the right way already. Derp. Let's uh, throw that on there. Sort of more of the triangular shape. Uh, I can't decide if I want to move... Actually, I'm going to move these wings back one more so we can get an extra layer of this out there and then start moving the wings backwards. We're double layering them, so we should have plenty of lift. It doesn't really matter if there's blocks in front of it, I don't think. I don't think the game takes that into consideration, but we'll see soon enough. Alright, I'm liking the look of that a bit more. Uh, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do the engines. I mean, they'll, they'll, still, they'll be in body. But I'm not sure how that's going to work exactly, because we can't attach them to the back of the wings. We could have maybe another set going back like this. I'll just throw one up real quick. 
like this, and then attach some wings on like that, and then attach the, the propellers to the front like that. We could do something like that, and that could work. Uh, and you wouldn't really notice it from the underside. I mean, you would, but, you know, it, it, that's not really the point. You don't... I mean, enemies see the plane from the underside, but we don't really, so we don't care as much about that. We just want something that'll fly, but still look somewhat like a like a stealth bomber. Right, I'm going to fiddle around a bit more. Okay, as it sits right now, it is kind of nose-heavy, just because we have so many blocks in the front, but I really like uh, how this is shaping up so far. It looks a little awkward at the moment, but uh, I, th I think we'll get there. I think we'll get there. Alright, so I have a working prototype. Uh, its turning is pretty awful, but we have something that is flyable, kind of. As you can see, just by the wind trails, this thing cannot turn sharply at all. And it's still... Whoa, really weird lag. Uh, still somewhat nose-heavy. I've added a bunch of little fins to the front there underneath the plane. I'll go over it once we land. But, uh... I just wanted to show you guys the progress I'm making so far. Let's get back to base. So, a design like this can fly, albeit not very well. Uh, I'm, I don't think that has to do with the triangular shape, I just think it has to do with our distribution of weight, which is why it's doing so poorly. So, because I, I do want to keep this, the triangular design, I really like it. But I'll sort of go over the, the changes that we've made. Alright, so, I needed to add batteries to this, so in an attempt to lighten the weight a bit, I added a bunch of, I replaced a bunch of the, uh, Hawkeye blocks on the front with batteries. It looks a little janky, but, I mean, without making the craft thicker, there's not much we could do, and I don't want to make this thing heavier than it already is. Uh, I've added a bit more weight to the back to try and help balance it out. Some more engines, made it a little bit longer. Uh, added lift wings and wing tips and all kinds of stuff. This is very rough. Uh, again, this is by no means the, fi the final product, but it, I'm just trying to get something that works, so at least I can uh, know what works and then modify it from there. Alright, back to editing. Alright, we've got a bit better of a prototype going on here. Still a little bit janky when it comes to turning, but certainly better than before. I've just added a bunch more engines onto the back, so now we're, our front is actually too light, so it's lifting up, but it's certainly much faster than before, and we are a lot closer to our end goal. I've also gone ahead and added uh, an extra layer of wings. I'll touch down real quick. Uh, an extra layer of wings on top of the wings that already existed, so now our wing layers are triple thick, which is pretty swell. And added wing tips onto them as well, because why not? I'm not sure we actually need these guys in the front, so I'm going to do a bit more experimenting and cut back once I have found what I want to do next. Alright, I think this is pretty much the final build for the bomber. Uh, there's a whole bunch of wingtips on it. I could not get it quite the shape I wanted right now. It just kind of looks like a heart, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but I think that's as good as it's, I'm going to be able to get it. I'm not super creative, so I can't think of like all the different ways to get it to be like the perfect shape and whatever. We also have the battery packs, which are miscolored, and we can't do anything about that. Not yet, at least. Uh, I had to add a whole bunch of different little winglets and stuff everywhere just to get it to sort of balance out when it was in flight. Added on a bunch of fuel packs and a couple rocket boosters. Uh, this tailpiece actually drags along the ground, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I think you could just sort of get the gist of it by looking at it. I mean, we have a ton of different engines, some in the wings. Uh, underneath, our only weapons that right now, at least until I get more money, are five cruise missiles. Because they have the longest range and the biggest impact per volley. So that's what we're going to be sticking with. We'll just add more cruise missiles on here probably uh, as we get more cash. 
But let's take it for a little spin. I already know it flies well. Uh, we don't have infinite fuel. If we added more, probably like two more canisters, we might have enough. Maybe maybe four more canisters. Uh, but there just is not space. <laughs> I've, I've crammed this thing full, as is. Alright, so let's take off. There's an enemy right there, which we can test our weapons out on. Uh, the fuel does last us quite a long time, and we are completely stable when we're at sort of fuel recharge mode, so I'll just fly around before I uh, attack any enemies first, just to get to that point. This thing turns much better, too, than it did before. I think it was just a matter of speed previously, and now we have a bunch more engines, so it's okay. Alright, okay, so now we're at the fuel recharge state. We've slowed down a little bit. Our turning is a little bit wider, but it's still pretty good. Very stable. Now let's go attack these enemies over here. Fire off our volley. Flies down. <laughs> it's pretty effective. Uh, it is... I mean, it's certainly not the fastest way to kill things ever, but we are an aircraft, so we have the advantage of air superiority and being able to be basically untouched. Oops, we're actually going to bump the ground here. But we need to just take off right away. <laughs> no problem. Unfortunately, those missiles are pretty agile, so you can drop them almost directly above an enemy and they'll still be able to turn and home in. I mean, Geocorp was kind of a bad example because they have so much health, but hope I mean, you can see just how effective this would be with even more missiles on it. Oh boy. <laughs> we did add those uh, regens on just in case we get attacked. Or just in case we, you know, go too low to the ground or something. Uh, and if we want to wait for fuel to recharge, this thing does float quite well. So we can just wait a few seconds. Well, I mean, if we're on a good course. There we go, we can just wait a few seconds, and we're back to full fuel. So you can be more nimble, go faster, and so on. I'm actually playing on the unstable build of Tech, and I thought that they got rid of that uh, flashing UI bug, but apparently not. Uh, it was in the patch notes anyway. Or they said something about like overlaying HUD. I figured that was probably it. But uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh, if you have any feedback for what I could do to make this aircraft better, I'm more than willing to take it. So take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.